We are exactly one week out from the U.S. Senate runoff races when all eyes will be right here on Georgia to see which party will control the Senate. Today, the lines picked up for early voting in some locations. This is a look at the Smyrna Community Center where the line stretched outside and down the sidewalk. As of this morning, more than 2.3 million people have cast their ballots. More than one and a half million of those have voted in person, while a little more than 800,000 voted absentee. The four candidates back on the trail today and one topic none of them could escape the stimulus checks. Senator Mitch McConnell today blocked a move that would have increased direct payments to Americans to $2,000. It would have passed by unanimous consent if no senators objected. Now Democrats are calling for a full Senate vote in the next few days, but it's unclear if that will happen. Joe Hankey has a look at where the Georgia candidates stand on the issue. All four candidates in Georgia's two U.S. Senate runoff races on the campaign trail today. Back in Washington, a Democratic-led push for a Senate vote to be held to increase stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000. Republican Senator Kelly Leffler discussed the proposed increase in Cherokee County. Said I support it, I support it. Um, look, we have to provide relief to Americans. Leffler's opponent, Democrat Reverend Raphael Warnock, who supports increased stimulus checks, claims Leffler did not support the increase until today, one week before for the election. In a statement, he said, instead of campaigning around the state and standing in the way of putting more money in the pockets of Georgians impacted by this pandemic, Kelly Leffler should be in Washington taking up this fight in the Senate. Meanwhile, Senator David Perdue's opponent, Democrat John Ossoff, who also supports the increase, addressed the issue early this morning. Let's not forget that Senator Perdue opposed even the first round of $1,200 checks, and he needs to join President Trump, President-elect Biden, and Democrats in supporting $2,000 relief payments right now. Perdue did not stop for questions following his own campaign stop in Butts County this afternoon, and his campaign did not respond to 11 Alive's emailed questions about the stimulus proposal, but he tweeted, I support this push for $2,000 in direct relief for the American people. I don't think you'll see the Senate taking this vote up prior to the election results. Republican strategist and 11 Alive political analyst Mike Hassinger says with Trump supporting the increase and many Georgians needing increased stimulus checks on the campaign trail, Leffler and Purdue need to support $2,000 checks. Now, when it comes down to actually voting for it, they can always go back on their word. They can do whatever they want, um, you know, but on the campaign trail, they have to uh, appear to support this. And while Senators Kelly Leffler and David Perdue today both say they support $2,000 stimulus checks, neither has publicly gone as far as calling on Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to hold a vote on the proposal, and neither has publicly said whether they would leave the campaign trail and head back to Washington if a vote was held this week.